I'm here with Dr. Piers Sellers, NASA an astronaut, who is here to give the Royal Aeronautical Society's 2010 Wilbur and Orville Wright Lecture. Dr. Sellers, as the shuttle heads to retirement, what are your thoughts on the program as a whole? Was it the right space vehicle? It was uh, way ahead of its time, and some would argue it was probably too far ahead of its time, but uh, actually I think it was, uh, for the US, it was a perfect stretch of the available technology. Um, first fly-by-wire aircraft, or spacecraft if you like, developed all the the um, methods and protocols for the whole computer-based flight control system. Numerous innovations, just the heat shield itself, the tiles, uh, years ahead of its time. So I think that uh, in terms of a technical um, stretch, definitely worthwhile. Uh, some compromises in the program um, led to problems, as you know, throughout its uh, operational career. but. Uh, on the whole, I'd say smashing success, and I'm hoping that she retires uh, gloriously and peacefully next year. Okay, I mean, today we saw the launch of uh, SpaceX's Dragon capsule. Uh, do you think we're now on, on the, the cusp of a tipping point in commercial human space flight, do you think? Could very well be. Um, this is very exciting that to have a success uh, with this system. Um, all, all aspects of the system, launch, orbital, control, re-entry, recovery, it all worked fine. Uh, Congratulations to the SpaceX team. I think this could well be the beginning of something new, and I think something uh, better and complementary to the government program. I'm hoping what will happen is the commercial sector will take over the business of uh, getting people and goods up and down from orbit, and uh, NASA should return to what it's supposed to be doing, which is new technology and exploration. Really sort of pushing boundaries. Yes. I mean, NAS NASA's job is not to run a uh, freight service to orbit. Its job is to you know push ahead stay ahead and uh, do exploration. Okay. What are your thoughts on plans for space tourism? Uh, um, do, do you think that it will survive any early disasters given today's risk adverse culture? Uh, I think it will probably survive. Uh, that I'm sure there will be um, you know, a few uh, mishaps. I think there's no question there will be a few mishaps. The space travel is a risky business. Anyone who tells you it's not a risky business is lying. So I'm sure there'll be problems, uh, but I think just like anything else, there will be, you know, recovery, retrenchment, and then programs will pick up again. So I think space tourism will ratchet its way upwards slowly. Okay. Uh, what nation do you think will be the first to land on Mars, and, and how, are, do you feel, how far do you think we're away from a, a manned mission? There? Great question. Uh, I think. We're about 25 years away from it, 20, 25 years away from it. And I would love to be surprised and shocked if anyone got there sooner. I would like to think it would be an international planet Earth adventure to Mars. I think there's so many uh, contributions that all the uh, uh, technically advanced countries can make to this. And you know, share a little bit of the glory in a really truly worthwhile effort. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Yeah, um, on, on career choices, in the past you needed to be a pilot going to space. Right. Uh, today you might be an exobiologist. Oh, what, what career advice would you give to young people seeking a career in space? I would advise them to study whatever makes them happy, whatever gives them uh, a reward. Um, I loved science, and I would have been quite happy to do science as a career my whole life. Um, and I just lucked out and became an astronaut as well. But uh, I would advise young people, find the thing that, that uh, turns you on, find your passion, and do it. Okay. Um, you were, you were here as well to talk to our winner, winners of our Meet an astro Astronaut contest for young people. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think we had such an amazing response? Oh, I think space has always been fascinating to young people. Um, when I was a kid, the whole moon race was going on, and I, I just was entranced by the whole thing. I'm not surprised. Um, I'm very glad that kids with all the distractions of reality shows and toys, uh, you know, electronic toys and all the rest of it, have time to you know, study something that's actually real. This is not, not reality show, it's real stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'll be thrilled to meet them, talk to them. Um, do you think you will go into space again in your career? I don't think I'll be going to space again as an astro astronaut. Uh, I intend to hang up my space boots and um, go and work in the science, climate science area again, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I think um, it'll be fun to watch other people do the work. And finally, one question here from our, our, our Twitter followers. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite photo you've taken from space? The favorite photo from space? Uh, let me think. You know, that is a really good question since I've taken about 8,000. I've got 
a wonderful picture which I took uh, of Ireland, the United Kingdom, coming over the Atlantic Ocean, which is great. If you've got any, if you've got your O-level geography, you'll be able to pick out everything on there. And I've, I've kept that picture. I really like it. Um, another favorite picture is of coming in on space station, the space station coming up over the horizon while we're docking. It's very poetic. Uh, I, I love that. Brilliant. Okay, Dr. Sirs, thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome.